Well, boys and girls and everybody in between, welcome back to Big Boy Variety. For all the new subscribers out there, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, comment in the comment section down below. And we have week two. It is here. It is so great to watch, you know, some more college football and we're going to have a couple of doozies on the schedule, let me tell you. Um, it's going to be very fun to watch um, some of these games this week. You know, the Big 12 and the ACC are starting up this week, and, you know, things are looking pretty. Um, of course, there has been a game that's been moved, um, but that's like later in September. And that was the Navy Temple game that got moved to October 10th. It was on September the 26th. Now it's on October the 10th. And that's a Navy home game. So, you know, that'll be like, you know, that'll be interesting. Um, Temple only has eight games anyway. You know, it's just their conference schedule and they don't start playing until then. So, there's that. But Thursday night. On, you know, opening night of the NFL season, it will be a interesting experiment for Derek King and the Miami Hurricanes taking on UAB on the ACC Network at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Central Time, and that'll be in conjunction with the NFL kickoff, you know, but if that, you know what I mean, those, those two games should be great entertainment. Or be on Thursday night. And uh, I gotta tell you, Derek King has a lot of things to prove. He didn't really wow me at Houston, but now he's got some things going on and it's looking pretty. Um, as far as the Saturday slate goes, not too many options. You know, early on, you know, you have Louisiana Tech taking on Baylor at 12. Or 11 Central, you know, on Fox. That'll be the big noon game. So, um, you, you know, not I don't really have anything on Baylor right now. I, I can't really seem to gauge where they're going. You know, they're still trying to recover from what has happened the last couple of years, stuff like that. So it should be pretty interesting for the Baylor Bears. Um, but the game you really need to highlight is Syracuse and North Carolina on the ACC Network at 12. And again, also 11 Central. Um, Sam Howell, Mac Brown. Oh boy, I think Sam Howell is a bona fide stud. He's a dark horse for the Heisman. Uh, you know, he, he can throw the ball. He can play. He can play. He can play ball. Let me tell you. And it's going to be fun to watch him, you know, throw the rock up and down the field. You also have Duke Notre Dame taking taking the field, you know, in between in between the noon games of the two thirty game and the three thirty games, you know. So there's that, you know. But I mean I'm not really interested in watching, you know, Notre Dame football right now unless they get really, really good. But there is Georgia Tech, Florida State at 3.30. And also, if you want to, you know, just, um, if you're bored, you know, you, you can keep the Duke Notre Dame game on. But mostly pay attention to Georgia Tech, Florida State. That's going to be a very interesting game right there. Two teams that did not look the greatest last year. Um, and I think it's room for improvement for both. Of course, we gotta talk about you know Missouri State Oklahoma, which is on pay per view for fifty five dollars. No reason to pay for that. Should be on a Big Twelve network, but we're not gonna talk about a Big Twelve network right now because that doesn't exist. So, yeah, um, and that starts the you know the later games and stuff like that. We have the runners-up to the national champions last year, 
Pitts, LSU, and the Clubs and Tigers. Trevor Lawrence, Devil Sweeney, Travis Etienne. Just a whole lot of guys going up from Clemson, going up at bat. And they're going to be taking on Wake Forest at Wake Forest to start their conference slate of 10 games. And that's the 6.30 ABC game, the, the Sunday, the Saturday night game of the week. That is going to be something. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, you know, close or anything like that. You know, because, I mean, I don't really have a gauge on Wake Forest either. But, you know, Clemson, if things, you know, continue to be the way they are, they might just cakewalk themselves into the national championship picture and the college football playoff. You know, they just might cakewalk it. Of course, we also got to talk about my Texas Longhorns. We are taking on the UTEP Miners, who did not look the greatest last week, as we all know, against Stephen F. Austin. And, you know, Sam Ellinger and company should take care of business there. And I hope Tom Herman has his stuff together, because it's about that time, you know. You know, we got to get it together. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we have... Kansas after dark. No Pac-12 after dark this year. We had UTEP after dark last week, um, in which UTEP pretty much failed to, um, you know, like they pretty much failed in their quest to keep to keep the haters off them. But this time we have Kansas at the door. Kansas is taking on Coastal Carolina, baby. You know, less miles and coming out there in Kansas. You know, it should be pretty fun. That's a 10 o'clock start, 9 p.m. Central here on FS1. And it should be a fun one right there. You know, it's going to be wild. And again, you know, reduced capacity or no fans. You saw how no fans went last night for the BYU Navy game. But that's pretty much all I got. The slate for this week isn't the greatest. Again, you know, mostly, you know, there's a couple of conference matchups in there. And there's a couple of interesting things with some teams. But other than that, it's a it's not the greatest slate in the world. You know, the SEC doesn't start up for another two weeks or so. And it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, how this all shakes out. We have games that are getting moved left and right. And there could be even more getting moved left and right as the season goes on. So with that being said, everybody, you know, enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy Thursday night. I'm so excited for football again. And we we just got to keep the momentum going. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a good day.